Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Impala here. Glad you're able to join me on this video and blessed to have you here with me. Um, this Impala is beginning to prove itself to be a bit of an issue. So I had the issue with the tires, which I don't have the tires out here right now. Obviously you can see that the car has been painted. Um, uh, the color is sea mist blue and it's been a while since I painted so we had some flaws you can probably see them already but we did have some issues with it I'll set this aside we'll go over that in just a second um, I primered everything I primered we got the exhaust portion primer there's another piece uh, on the other side of my hobby room um, I primered everything else in black we got the, the pieces here that I had mentioned that I wasn't gonna use I was just gonna primer them up so now they're ready for paint if I ever want to use them and anything else we got the front suspension all fully primered up I am uh, interested in trying to probably get my hands on an airbrush I don't own one right now so the hope is to kind of uh, save some money out of the next few paychecks maybe and buy one over the course of the next few weeks um, so some of the some of the other components here, you got the drive shaft, the radiator, the radiator shroud, everything's been painted. We will do some assembly on this for this video. Uh, one of the things that I did that I actually kind of like, well here's the bottom, the bottom got a flat black. And I also put in that, that piece that was needed over here. Uh, so I painted the body and the interior. Made the interior, I don't know if you can see that it's a dark blue. Almost looks like it could be black, but it's it's a navy blue. And I really like the color of it. It came out great. Probably out of this model so far, this is some of the best painting I've done. I painted the piece, like the cover for the convertible when it's down. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it uh, got bent and cracked. So that's the newest pickup of this model. It does sit relatively flat still, so We'll work with it. Painted the dash the same color as the exterior of the car. I thought that would look good up against the dark blue interior. And one of the things that I discovered during the painting process was that I didn't give the paint color enough time to set during uh, after our spraying before I went ahead and sprayed the clear coat. Um, so we will correct that the next time through. First model back after a long break. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the hood does have a run in it. Still pretty happy with how it came out. I like the color. And uh, we're going to build it. The panel line black. It's not as easy to work with as some of the modelers on YouTube make it look. Or this car just hates me. Um, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I got some up on where the chrome trim is supposed to be right there. I couldn't get that to wipe off for the life of me. Same thing happened on this side down at the bottom of the doors where the some more chrome is supposed to live, I guess. The trunk, the trunk did okay. 
and uh, I guess the fuel door did okay. I'm pretty happy with how the fuel door came out. So what my idea is is that I'm going to go ahead and paint my chrome or do a bare metal foil, whatever I come by first, and try to cover up some of those flaws. We're painting up the exhaust here. Get this painted up, get it drying. And then I'm gonna paint the the gas tank on the bottom of the car. So in nineteen sixty two Chevrolet made a V eight and a six cylinder version of the, well they actually made a few different V8s, they made the 327 and this one's a 409 but average the difference between the V8 and the six cylinder in weight was five pounds with the V8 being lighter somehow It would appear that the six cylinder version weighed in at 3,565 pounds, while the eight cylinder cars weighed in at 3,560 pounds. tips on those after they're glued in. I'm just fine with that. Now, I was actually wrong when I claimed that this car had the 427 in it. It doesn't. It's a 409. Uh, I read the box and didn't check anything. Um, and I could be wrong on this as well, but I believe that the, the 409 is probably the biggest engine for this year for the car. Uh, I've only done research on the 62 because that's what I'm building. There are claims that the 409 had 400 horsepower. Some of the research that I'm seeing, or that I'm doing, some of the information that I'm seeing, indicates that it had 409 horsepower. I'm not sure what the extra nine horsepower would give the car in terms of performance. But those are the numbers that I'm seeing when I do the research. Uh, in today's world, the 409 would be classified as a 6.7 liter engine. That's how it would be marketed. So I don't know. Corvette, the Chevy Corvettes, I think, claim to have the 327 block still. I don't know for sure, though. That does the exhaust pipes. I gotta do the mufflers where they hook up into the, the manifolds.